Hi, this is Tom Copeland with Hudson Robotics. Today I'm going to be showing the calibration function of the Rapid pH. The Rapid pH is an automated solution for testing pH in 96 well plates and small tubes in a SBS format. So the main users of the Rapid pH are the pharma, biotech, and chemical industries. The main benefits are to reduce measurement volumes, increase daily testing throughput. Uh, it also relieves the tedium of manually testing pH and allows the scientists to walk away uh, from the rapid pH to do other tasks. Therefore, it saves some time uh, testing pH. So let's get started. So the very first step is to, well, first I'm going to step back one step. You can see how user-friendly the software is because it actually only has four buttons. All right, I will click on Calibrate. I'm now going to pick the plate format that I'm currently using. If you want, you can add a note. And then you pick the wells that you're going to actually test your calibrations. So you have a verification option. I first have to load my pH buffers. And then if you want to use a verification well, you can just switch it back to verification well. And I have a 6.76 buffer. Now the rapid pH is set for calibration. To get started, just click begin calibration. You get a quick pop up that says, please place the lab where on the rapid pH and click OK. And now it starts running. So while the deionized water is being loaded into the wash station, I'm going to point out where uh, the components on the rapid pH are. You have your microplate nest. You have your well for deionized water, which uh, empties and refills between each uh, sample. You have a blow drying station. And you have your storage buffer well. Currently, I have KCL in it, but you could also use pH 4 or pH 7, whatever you're currently using. And I'll let the instrument catch up before I continue on. So now you can see it running through the deionized water. It's doing a rinse. It's going into the blow drying station to be blow dried before it takes the first sample. The well was just emptied and is now being refilled with deionized water. So while it's taking the sample reading, I'll discuss the minimum volumes. So in a standard microplate with a flat bottom, we recommend 200 microliters. In a rounded bottom plate, you can use 150 microliters. And in a half diameter plate, we recommend 75 microliters. We're currently using the InLab Microprobe. So this probe is rated at 45 microliters, which we have tested successfully, but because each plate can be slightly different and the, uh, well, basically there can be errors in the pipetting technique, we do recommend 75 microliters as your minimum.
So while this is running through the steps, I'll actually talk a little bit about what you can do when running a plate. So after your calibration, you want to get started running plates and working on other things. You can either manually enter the descriptions into the wells. You don't need data description. Just by clicking on the wells you want to run, it'll highlight those wells, and then you hit start. You can also import data. So you create a CSV file in column A of an Excel uh, spreadsheet. You add in the well name, A1, A2, B5, down to H12, whatever you want to do. In column B of the Excel file, you add in the descriptions, you save it as a CSV file, and then you're able to import that information into the plate. You're able to also export the information automatically into three different formats. You have a CSV format, a XML format, and a SAM format, which also can be imported into Excel. We really tried to make the Rapid PH a very user-friendly system. All right, so now we've run through all the samples and we'll get the results. So if the results not within plus or minus 0.05, the calibration will fail. And now what I'll do is actually go out of the software. I'll go back into calibration and show the view calibration data. So here you can see the information, including the note that I just typed in for the comment. You can see your data points. You can see the uh, millivolt readings and the offsets for each uh, point. Then you see your segmented slope from four to seven, then seven to 10. And then you can see the verification sample, which was a 6.76, and our reading was a 6.77. You can also export this information so if you're currently using a manual log, you may want to just export the log file. So that is it. For more information, please go to HudsonRobotics.com. You can also send us an email at info at HudsonRobotics.com or call 973-376-7400. This information, the contact information, will be uh, in the description of the YouTube video, so you can always find it there. Thanks for your time. Have a good day.